PhD. One day you will write books. One day commercials. One day the impossible. You will laugh at the impossible. You will look at the impossible and go, "What was I thinking?" Good evening, my spoiler alert friends. Thank you all for joining me. Um, I wanted to put this video out earlier today, but uh, it just didn't happen. So we're getting it right now, you know, and uh, I don't know if what time you'll be listening to it, but um, I'm sure you'll be hearing it when you need to hear it. Um, so I was in the in the Word this morning. I was in Luke chapter 9, and there were about eight points throughout the whole chapter that um, <clears throat> were significant to me. Uh, and honestly, some that I, I, I would say some, the majority of them I didn't really notice before. But uh, one that I wanted to touch on in particular um, was Luke chapter 9, verses 10 through 17. And um, this one I felt, I felt had more of an applicable uh, property to it. Not that the others don't, but I, it just resonated with me a little bit differently. Um, so when I was reading through it, it's talking about Jesus and how uh, he fed the 5,000 and the situation and how everything transpired there. And while I was reading, I was like, you know what? This is, Jesus was giving us a perfect example of how to live out um, Luke six thirty eight. Um, and in that part, they're talking about how, you know, the measure you give is a measure you receive. And, um, it would be given to you, pressed down, shaken together and pouring over. So essentially, um, and it was talking about judging others. So, you know, and it wasn't just in judging others, but the thing that I, I noticed, um, when I was reading through Luke 9, 10 through 17 was that, um, here, here the disciples were, and here are these 5,000 people. And Jesus, Jesus is sitting there, they're all talking and he's, he's teaching. And then his disciples come to him and they're like, Hey, um, it's getting late. Uh, these people have no food. Let's send them on their way so they can get home, get some, th something to eat and everything will be good. And Jesus is like, why don't you feed them? And then he goes, look, my dude, <laughs> uh, we only got five loaves of bread and some fish over here. Uh, it's not going to work out. So Jesus says, all right, have them sit in these uh, groups. I think it was groups of 50. Um, sit in these groups. And um, so imagine this is 5,000. And I'm sure there were more. This is 5,000 men and groups of 50 spread out and they got these loaves of bread and some fish. <laughs> and, um, and so he go, they go and they break, uh, break bread. Jesus prays over it. And then they start dispersing it to the people. And then they pass the basket back around. Everyone had had their fill. Everyone was full, satisfied. And when they pass the baskets back around, there were 12 baskets, pretty sure 12 baskets full of parts from the food and it's like whoa we had we had no food here and while we were out spreading it it multiplied itself and i had never caught that before never caught it and i mean i caught that oh obviously the all these people were fed but i never caught the the multiplication piece in reference to luke 6 38 um normally when I've heard that verse. It's been in reference to, it's always around times when you're about to give your tithes. Like, okay, you know, give your tithes to the church and it will be given back to you and all these things. But I, and I, so I always associated it with money. It was just, it was immediately money. This is, this is related to money. When you give, you'll receive. It was always money. But in this example, Jesus is, he's multiplied what they have given and it has been pressed down, shaken together, pouring over. They had way more than they had before, and they were giving it away, and this was food. So it made me think, I'm like, you know, I think that principle can be applied to everything in life. You know, uh, our time, our resources, um, and resources being food, 
money, shelter, all those things. It's like when you when you give freely, God will restore. And I I I, I do believe that. And so uh something that I need to work on personally is not being so so tight with the things that I value so much. Um and it's easier said than done. I, I can admit to that. But that is a the, an exercise that I want to can start practicing because again, I'm I'm decent with that with money because that that's what my my whole perception has been. But when I when I read through that passage, I'm like, he did the exact same thing with something that wasn't money. And it's clear to me that it's it's everything. When you give, you get more back, more than more than you had before, even. So um, I don't know. Hopefully that's encouraging to you guys. If you guys have some thoughts, please, let's have a conversation, a dialogue. I'm, I'm totally open to it. Um, put it in the comments. Uh, share this with your friends. Share this with people you know. And let's let's get the conversation going, because I think that it's important to to dissect and discuss these things and I think that's part of how we all grow. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. One thing I know.